so I just wanted to talk about resiliency. Um, it's kind of been something on my mind lately and I thought maybe some of this stuff might either relate to somebody or at least be able to show some of the reasons that I've gained some of the abilities and skills that I have um, that I can give and help with other people. So um, kind of a quick little Reader's Digest version. Um, I've kind of had a lot of stuff that I've had to overcome um, in my life. Um, a lot of times where I've been a caretaker, aside from just being a parent, aside from, you know, those things that every person does. And, you know, everybody has their their struggles and, and their own unique circumstances that they overcome. Um, not discrediting any of that, but um, when my son was 10, he was burned in a gas explosion. Um, my twins were really rare, unique twins, like one in 50,000 chance of them surviving, um, even the pregnancy. I was inpatient with them for seven weeks before they were born, and they were born nine weeks premature and in NICU and all of that kind of stuff. Um, shortly after they were born, when I went back to work as a dispatcher, um, I lost one of my officers on duty. Um, that messed with me a lot. So, um, in a few ways, some negatively, but some positively as well. Um, when you find a greater purpose sometimes, um, or you find the determination to overcome those things that take you to your knees and make you hit bottom, and you still stand back up. So um, I went through the academy and failed the first time. Um, and then second time, right before I was supposed to take my PT test so that I could pass, which you only get two chances. Um, and I was on my second one. I had to have a hernia operation and I had to be back and able to pass that PT test um, within two weeks. My, my PT test was two weeks after my surgery. Um, and I did it. I was, I was able to do all of the things that I had to do. Um, then as of recently, this year, um, my husband has been diagnosed with leukemia. He almost died back in February. Um, has a combination of a couple of things that made his cancer diagnosis even more critical and, and that kind of thing. Um, and as a result of that, um, he was obviously unable to work. He hasn't been able to do the things that we had had established in our life. So yet again, we're in another situation where things are kind of turned upside down. Um, and so I've had to really decide what that means for me as well and decide how I'm going to provide a better life for, for my family. Um, and my answer to that is real estate. Um, I don't feel like I do anything that's not 100%. Um, and as a result of all of those things, um, I've learned to do hard stuff. So um, dedication, devotion, commitment, all of those things kind of are in my core, which I believe they are in, in everybody's. Um, but I feel like it's something unique that I can really bring resilience to the table as an agent. Um, I, I don't have quit in me, and I think and I hope um, that my clients will be able to see that. So, um, yeah, just let me know if any of that stuff stands out for you, um, if it would matter to you, and um, also let me know how anything you've found in your life, in your career, in any of those goals that you pursue, what has given you that advantage or that heads up, um, kind of the step up to either take that goal and make it a reality or has made you excel and do well at the goal that you've set and the thing that you've accomplished. So yeah, let me know. Thanks.